Um, videoing? Yeah. Okay, I'm a little wet today. Uh, won't take up too much of your time, I don't think, but maybe on the way back, who knows. Uh, <laughs> uh, cute guy. I don't know, he's made like eight videos. I haven't watched all of them, but it's all the same crap. Just re-argued. Uh, you're not allowed to critique this biological system. Nature created it. The universe made it. Therefore, it must make sense. It must be good. It really is hilarious that uh, the, the new atheism is really just, uh, they've just replaced God with a, the DNA molecule. All hail, all kiss the DNA's feet, all kiss its ring, whatever. Kiss its sacred genome. Uh, it really is Planet of the Apes. <laughs> you know, and you get to escape Ape City and you end up in some human nutball city where, yeah, they're all, uh, you know, uh, uh, have the religion of the bomb. Um, yeah, just, there's nothing else to do but, <sighs> yeah, Charlton Heston, the whole thing. Anyway, uh, determinism. Yeah, so he throws this in there as if there's some flaw in deterministic theory. Uh, because the determinists don't have to, don't feel obliged to account for the plasma initiation moment. <laughs> you know, the Big Bang. The part we know is deterministic is this mechanical part that's happening now. Alright, what happened 15 billion years ago? Uh, who cares? <laughs> you know, really. Uh, if it was truly random, or if it wasn't, if it's cause and effect, if it's a chain of explosions over and over and who cares? What's the difference? It just doesn't matter. What we know is a God didn't make it. We know an intelligence sitting somewhere didn't say, I, having evolved in my universe, will now create another universe. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. And now walk away. Uh, sorry, intelligence doesn't walk away. Uh, the power to create comes with knowledge, uh, so you can't uh, you, you can't run away from that logic. Uh, and if and if you're going to say that God is stupid, that <laughs> the Creator was less than knowledgeable of the implications of its actions, uh, then we're still back to the the fairness of critiquing the creation. Your Creator has no authority. There's no assumption of uh, foreknowledge, of greater intelligence than our own. Uh, none whatsoever. So again, there's no... You can't make it illegitimate to judge the function of this biological replicating system. And uh, you can't disqualify that judgment. And to call it a religion, <laughs> you know, it's just... Ludicrous. It's exactly the opposite. It has all the opposite components of a religion. There is no claim of uh, divine creation, of intelligent design, of purpose and forethought. There's exactly the opposite statement. And we're just barely taking responsibility for the fact that nobody else is taking responsibility. We're the adult, the only adult we know of. And so, uh, you can't just keep uh, playing child anymore. You have to say, whoops, I can't, I've got to take the silly hat off and, uh, you know, the underoos. And, uh, yeah, i got to pretend that I know better. Uh, I mean, this is just bullshit to call it religion to responsibly dissect, analyze, and judge. Um... And when it comes to this whole argument of responsibility and determinism, I mean, people just, people are just obnoxious cheaters. Uh, I mean, determinism doesn't change the fact that every bit of our interaction is part of the determinism. Every thought is determined and it also will affect other people if we express those thoughts into our behavior. Uh, and that, Ideas change, and the motivations change, and uh, of course, arguing is of 
perfectly sensible thing to do in a deterministic universe because it's through argument that you will change the destiny. I mean, it's just stupid. It's part of the necessary deterministic cause and effect chain. If I don't play my role, somebody else isn't going to do it. I mean, it's just stupid. Uh, and again, like I said, there's no need to... Uh, the, the argument that somehow there's some uh, doubt of our deterministic view uh, because we can't tell you what happened at the moment of the Big Bang or something. It's just silly. Like I said, we know, we look into the universe and uh, stuff doesn't miraculously not do what physics demands. Okay? Physics is dictating the landscape. Not some random dandum. And even if it was, even if there was a true randomness that existed in some kernel of this underlying material, randomness wouldn't produce anything of value. Uh, random is not smart. Random is not better. Random is not good. Uh, so there's just nothing. It's, it doesn't elevate the circumstance at all. Uh, the, the, the whole point of determinism is, is there's, <laughs> there's nothing that's going to break uh, the crude physics. Uh, and the crude physics is just doing the, going through the process of uh, living the truth of this universe, which is this attraction and repulsion force. We have manifested it, and now our philosophy is recognizing the mechanism. And uh, it is logically, it's taking what's in the universe and trying to make the math out of it, make it add up and say, is the two plus the two equal the four? Or is the four justify the two and the two? Or however you want to uh, metaphor it, but we're balancing. Uh, balancing is a true phenomenon in the universe. It's part of the true physics. Uh, and that's all we're doing is gleaning the truth from the world, pulling it into our brains, uh, and running it uh, to see what logic says. Uh, and logic says that we're just an infestation. We're just energy uh, doing funky, weird things. We're not doing purposeful things. And we're doing them at this high price of uh, negative conscious experience. So anyway, that's probably enough. I've said all that crap before, but it's, you know, you have to say it over and over again, I guess, because they're going to keep just saying that we're religion, that we're religious, and that somehow our determinism is um, hypocritical or duplicitous. But somehow it lacks depth. I can't give it any more depth. Again, I don't have a videotape of the Big Bang. I can't prove to you uh, that it was initiated by purely cause and effect. Um, can't, can't do that. All right, but it doesn't change the fact that all the evidence indicates determinism and there's nothing in my philosophical uh, approach or statements that is hypocritical to that belief. <sighs> Duh. I mean, the fact that I might once in a while use the word random or accident is just an accident of human language. Obviously, our language has been designed by uh, deluded uh, god botherers, <laughs> and uh, yeah, it does lack precision. And uh, that's a frailty of communication. You want to use that to your advantage and play a game with it? Well, go ahead. But I think anybody reasonable or fair-minded <laughs> is going to see what you're doing. <laughs> that's funny. I mean, the guy was already almost past me, and he actually stopped to let me go across, which is funny. <sighs> but, you know, some people are good that way. Yep, the sign says stop. And Damn it, they're going to do it. I like that people. <laughs> yeah.
considerate and such. Anyway, it's hotter than I thought it would be. So, until later, I guess. A little foggy today. Misty and such. So, until next time. <laughs> yeah, maybe I'll sing an opera. Sound, I gotta know. I gotta change the agenda. These people just don't want to. They don't want to do this stale philosophy thing. I gotta keep. I gotta keep feeding on bullshit. So that's what they have a taste for. Lament. 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 Nice lamenting tree there. That tree's been there a long time. <laughs> yeah, I remember that tree when I was a kid. Pieces of it keep falling off, but it's a great old willow tree. <sighs> yep. Lost a little bit in the storm, but you know, we're all losing a little bit. A little bit at a time. Anyway, Till next time. Whoa, here I am. Yeah, it's kind of dark. Can't really see. I don't know. Can you see? Sometimes the camera can see better than me. No, it doesn't like you can see either. Looks like the battery's going dead too. So anyway, this might be a really short add-on. Uh, <laughs> yeah, determinism. It's kind of funny. Um, not just determinism, just this whole idea of the, the clockworkness of it. Uh, we seem so animated and original. And yeah, we're just, you know, we're so controlled by all these mechanisms, both, uh, you know, biology and the whole psychology. And the psychology has kind of just grown out of the biology, out of the basic function of good, bad perception. I know, um, all, all biological organisms have to make these value judgments you know, good environment for feeding, bad environment for feeding. Good environment for getting killed, <laughs> you know, bad environment for getting killed. All this kind of value is built into the structure of the biology of our uh, ancestors. Uh, even the microbes have good and bad uh, in terms of their health days. And... Uh, you know, that's just the, the mechanism playing out. And it's just gotten, the definitions have gotten bigger and longer. You know, it's more elaborate definition of what is good for you. Uh, more things have to be right or in the right place or in the right amounts for you to have uh, a good day. Uh, and... Uh, so yeah, but it all comes down to that in the end. It's all this, these values. It's all our reflexes are doing is creating the notion of value by reacting to the world. Uh, there's nothing intrinsically bad about a pin. It's just when the pin penetrates your skin, <laughs> you know, that it starts to become a problem for you. Uh, as your sensations make it a problem. Uh, it's not even that much damage to the system. And so a lot of it's just hysterical reactions, overreactions of the mechanism. Uh, it's controlling us. Um, that, that we're controlled by, that we're built by, that we're determined by. And so all of this, all, even all the complexity of the nuance of uh, the sophisticated definitions of bad, bad words, hurtful words, all of that, these are just extensions of the same principle, uh, reactions, value-tainted reactions, um, and the only one 
of all the value tainted reactions, the only one that has any substance in my opinion, is the value tainted reaction we have to watching something suffer a negative value tainted reaction. Watching other things react uh, in a negative, hurtful way uh, is the only negative value reaction we have uh, that's real. The rest of it is, not that it's real, that's the wrong word to use, it has integrity. The rest of it is just deterministic, biologically deterministic uh, mechanization. It's just dictated by the DNA. The memes can do something different, and the memes can do something of real integrity. Ideas can have integrity. Your biology won't. <laughs> Seldom has anything like a balanced or fair or uh, proportional reaction. So anyway, probably enough. Sorry, there's a lot of stuff to fight through here, and it's dark. <laughs> you know. There's zombies come out. Gotta look out for the zombies and such. Oh, foggy and wet. Yuck. Anyway, I'm tired. It's kind of a long work day. Eh. Anyway, till next time. Such and so forth and whatnot. Mud. <laughs> yeah. Jeez. Jeez. All right. Uh, yeah, no, that's it. Really. That's enough. Till next time. And such. <laughs>